Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Nelson for Catholic News Break. Here's what's happening this week in the news. We begin with news from the Vatican. While Pope Benedict XVI was in Benin, Africa, he signed the document entitled The Commitment of Africa, which addressed the educational crisis on the continent. Calling high illiteracy rates a scourge on par with that of pandemics, the Pope said that though it does not kill directly, illiteracy contributes to the marginalization of the person, which he called a form of social death because it blocks access to knowledge. The Pope noted the educational crisis is not limited to Africa, but according to international agencies, the continent suffers more than other continents with a literacy rate of less than 60%. The document, which presents the church's role in the future of Africa, expanded on themes from the 2009 Synod of Bishops for Africa. Also in the document, the Pope called for the development of educational programs that rely on both faith and reason to prepare children for adulthood. He said it was important for students to be educated in the faith and to learn the church's social doctrine since religious education institutions train children in the African values that are taken up by those of the gospel. In news now from around the country, immigration is a hot topic in the United States and one woman is hoping to make things easier for those wanting to become citizens of this country. She is a law student and a recipient of the Cardinal Bernardine New Leadership Award. Catholic News Service's Dennis Sadowski has more. 24-year-old Rosabel Mancias Lopez understands what it's like for millions of undocumented immigrants living on the margins of American society. She was once there herself. The experience has prompted the University of San Diego law student to advocate for immigrants seeking a better life in the United States. Something that um, I guess has a strong impact on me is the Catholic social teachings, um, in particular human dignity and the right of everyone to have labor and work. And with this, I related to, to immigration in the sense that immigrants are in a sense stripped of their human dignity just because they were born in a different part of the world. Her efforts were held up as an example of the anti-poverty work supported by the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, which recently honored Mencius with its Cardinal Bernardin New Leadership Award. The campaign cited her effort to empower immigrants through the CCHD-funded San Diego Organizing Project. It also pointed to the student groups she leads to Tijuana, Mexico in an effort to bridge the cultural divide. Mancias is studying law in order to become an immigration attorney so she can continue her advocacy work. She says it's faith and the inspiration of martyred Salvadoran Archbishop Oscar Romero that guide her actions. What faith does to me is bring back all of this into perspective, bring back the fact that yes, we're all human and we're all God's children and we're all meant to be able to pursue happiness and be able to be happy. I'm Dennis Sadowski reporting for Catholic News Service. Looking now at other news from around the country, the Vatican is planning to publish a set of pastoral guidelines for church personnel engaged in AIDS care and prevention. But according to Monsignor Jean-Marie Pendawatu, Undersecretary of the Pontifical Council for Healthcare Ministry, it probably won't happen for at least a year. The guidelines are expected to treat the issue of condoms and AIDS prevention, but as a part of a much wider approach to the question of the treatment and spread of the disease. Monsignor Pendawatu says the first step toward the guidelines was the imminent publication of the results of a Vatican-sponsored conference on AIDS last May. The conference looked at prevention strategies, rejecting condom campaigns in favor of behavioral change, and also examined issues of medical research and treatment. Monsignor Pendawatu said the Vatican was working quickly on the guidelines for pastoral workers and would use much of the material from the conference. And finally in the news, Pope Benedict XVI has accepted the resignation of Bishop Seamus Hagerty of Derry, Northern Ireland. The announcement came just two weeks after the bishop, who was 71 years old, announced that he had submitted his resignation because he was diagnosed with a condition that he described as irreversible and progressive. Bishop Hagerty asked the people of the diocese for prayers that the Holy Spirit may guide the selection of the new bishop of Derry. The diocese has not confirmed the nature of the bishop's illness. Bishop Hegarty was appointed to his post in 1994. Prior to that, he had served as bishop of the neighboring diocese of Repo for over a decade. Derry is the seventh of Ireland's 26 dioceses awaiting the appointment of a new bishop. Four dioceses are currently vacant and three bishops have already submitted their resignations, having reached the mandatory retirement age of 75. Well, that is all the information we have for you at this time. Please stay with Catholic TV for more Catholic news. Until then, I'm Kevin Nelson, and I'll see you next time on Catholic News Break.